with the speed that Stuart Haas has shown over the past few years on these flatter, shorter tracks, how much more confidence do you have coming into this weekend? Yeah, I think um, in the past I've been really good. I don't know. I guess I'd probably have a better answer after practice and qualifying, but um, I really don't know what to expect other than a little bit of some time and watching from last year and just preparing for the weekend. But they definitely have had speed here in the past. They're really fast in this race last year. So we'll see what that holds for us this weekend. Um, Drew looking stuff with the rest of the Overstock team. They've done a really good job preparing. Uh, so we'll see after practice how we stack up. There's not much in life, honestly, that compares the doctor being like, oh, congrats, there's two. Like, there's. Like, there's very few things I feel like that compare in life to that. So, yeah, it's going to gonna be a big just change in our household, but um, I'm excited. It is scary, though, at the same time, for sure. Congrats. Thank you. Chase, the rumors came out this week about SHR possibly selling charters. Is there, as a driver, do you kind of just have to ignore that and just focus on the car, the team, and the races? Yeah, I mean, like, there's always rumors, right? Like, whether it's the driver, the team, or anything. So, I think mean, for us, you know, I would say, even with it all coming out this week, our biggest focus has been this, this weekend. Like, this is a place that we know that we can go and win. And regardless of what happens, if you're winning races and running up front, you're going to be able to find a job. So, I mean, I, I'd be lying if any time the rumor comes out, you're not a little concerned, right? But, I mean, it's so far away, I feel like, from anything, anybody knowing anything that's even happened. So, yeah, I try to just do my best every week. And if I'm winning, whether stuff stays or sells or whatever, like, I... That's so above me. I just try to go out there and do my job every week. You've been top 10 here in every next gen race. What's that say about this track fitting your style or just what Stuart Haas brings here? Just talk yeah, about I would that. say I've always felt like I've had good speed here in kind of all the series. And, you know, I would say Stuart Haas has done a really good job in the next gen era of just being really, really strong here. This has kind of been the one track every year that even when we struggle everywhere else, we're still really good here. So. Yeah, this week we put a lot of focus on just trying to, to be as best as we can be. I mean, we do every week, but we feel like, you know, this week is one of those tracks where we have a really good understanding of, of our car and just trying to just fine-tune it, right, to find that little extra bit. I feel like, you know, Blaney's probably been better than us, and outside of him, we're kind of the second-best car. So uh, just trying to figure out what we need to do compared to him to be a little bit better and um, just trying to focus on all the little details this week, truthfully, just to try to, you know, maximize our day. We need a big points today. The last two weeks have been really bad, and we've kind of felt below the cut line. So we need to, I'm just trying to win, but we need to, I'm just an overall really good day, if not.